Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day and today I would like to share a little unpackaging with you guys. Uh, I don't know what this is, so it's going to be a surprise for the both of us. I have stuff on the way, it's just that, you know, when things are th going through the shipping process, things aren't always updated when they're supposed to be. I have, an, I have a feeling of what this is, but regardless, this is going to be a good one, probably, most likely, I don't know. The unpackaging knife is going to be my Manix 2 CPM 15V. This thing is just butter. Absolutely butter. Um, this has been my carry for the last couple days at work. As you can see, it's super grimy and the most amount of work or most amount of use has been on the very tip because <laughs> gotta be just a tip, you know? So let's get into this guy. What is it? No, seriously, what is it? Um, okay. Uh, ooh! <laughs> yeah, this is... <laughs> oh, man, this is what I thought it was. Oh, uh, wow. Um, I'm such a loser for that. Wow. Um, <laughs> I Okay, like I said, I had a feeling I knew what it was. Uh, this was... This is... The Bridgeport Knives Model 395 Version 2. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to take a second to break in through that coating. But that is very, very smooth. Not drop shutty like the V1. I actually have the V1. I'll show you that really quick. Let's just do some up and close use to just appreciate this model. Nice, nice. Uh, it is hollow ground. Oh, look at me smudging it up with my grimy little fingers. Wow. I just got off work, and so I'm just super excited to come back home. I dulled it out. Whatever was on there was probably the just some oil from the factory, just to keep it from any... Uh, surface rust or anything like that so this is like i said the model 395 version 2 this variation is the black stone wash as you can see it's a very light stone wash it's not heavy like i prefer but it i think it's gonna break in rather well uh and this is flat um shred carbon fiber the pictures made it look like they were fully contoured so that's a little disappointing. Um, I could have sworn that they were fully contoured, but regardless, still, it's a it's a, it's a very comfortable, simple design. Yeah, that's nice. Just like the version one, it's uh, it's just as good. I honestly don't know what are the main differences between the two, but I love the version one. Not loved EV. Currently, still love the version one. Uh, it's such a wonderful knife and it just it's broken in so well it has just some of the stupidest action of really my entire collection so here is the v1 it has been heavily modded by yours truly so slightly polished with two-tone it was blue and then uh, like a pink on the edges and just you know in the right light it shines through Came out interesting looking, um, and then I dipped the blade uh, in some acid. I didn't like actually stone wash it. I just it was just an acid wash, just to darken it a smidge. I didn't want it super super dark, but this thing is this is insane insane action. Yeah, let's see if I could. Yeah, that's uh that's quite nice. This thing is uh it feels just as nice. For whatever reason, it feels maybe just a little bit more solid feeling. Maybe it doesn't have that... Um, what is the word I'm looking for? When metal contacts metal, and it has a little ting, or kind of like little vibratory... Uh, it's an audio thing, and it's also something you feel. So as when you're interacting with something, you... Uh, you know, both senses are needed to experience what I'm trying to, you know, put into words here. Um, 
Re resonating? Resignation? Ah, <laughs> I don't even know. My brain is fried from today at work. But uh, yeah, so again, V1, V2. I will try to figure out what the differences are between the two. On the surface, it doesn't really look like a whole lot. Um, but still, I'm very thankful to have it. This is essentially a more premium version of it. Uh, this one was, I think, around 130 And this was uh, almost 200 or around there, or something like that. But you get the upgraded blade material. It's still manufactured by the same uh, people. Kubi, I believe it is. So it is manufactured in China. And yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a winner of a design. It's so, so good. Definitely had to get another one. There are a couple other variations of it. I don't know if they're available or not. Honestly, I, it, this was a, a knife that when I saw that there was going to be another drop of them or version two, I, it was it was a no-brainer for me. So, that packaging, that really threw me off. Nice little uh, card, a little cloth, and then just this. I'm sure this thing is watertight. Yeah, it's probably watertight. That's fancy, fancy. Nothing, uh... Nothing too crazy, but um, yeah, I could have sworn the version one just came in like a little plastic or cardboard sleeve. That would have been just fine, honestly. Um, you know, if this was like any bigger, like it'd be cool to have like multiple knives in a case like this. But I'm not going to, I'm going to use this knife. It's not going to sit in a case, nor is it going to sit on the shelf. It's such a wonderful knife. You're going to want to use it and just continuously play with it. So eventually the action becomes like. The version one uh yeah this is this is nice oh and also there were two variations that had only oh my gosh there it is sorry i'm all over the place the one big difference you have a crown spine on the version two versus the jimping uh either way i mean it, it feels great both ways it does um but i do enjoy the jimping it's in my opinion necessary on on the spine of a blade it just it feels good it's a textural thing to me but this also feels very nice and premium very rounded off and whatnot uh, what was i talking about oh yes yes there were two variations that had thumb stud plus hole and i was considering getting one but i was like you know what uh i know that thumb flicking with the hole it's really good I, there's no need to have you know thumb studs honestly um yeah i thought that was just kind of a weird little gimmicky thing but regardless wonderful knife a wonderful design a no-brainer for me to purchase and uh i don't know how much louder i need to talk about this knife it's just it's a wonderful little guy definitely a medium sized knife uh let's get the weight on this really quick before we end this and it's going to be pretty darn light. And there will be a, a full Thai version of this. It's just not available yet. So, 2.8. That weighs literally nothing. Versus the Thai version 1, 3.7. Still, I mean, they're, they're both coming at very impressive weight for the materials that they have. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. I know I definitely did in my day just got a whole lot better because I will be playing with this one a lot. And just looking over the uh, carbon fiber, making sure everything's all good. It looks pretty darn good. So yeah. Again, if you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and give this video a like. If you guys are subscribed, thank you so much. I most definitely appreciate all your support. If you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and consider subscribing because there is plenty, plenty more content coming your guys' way. So have a wonderful day.